Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today vlog is about my stay at Taj Santa Cruz, Mumbai. This hotel is located right inside the airport premises and there is hardly any transit time. It's one of the plush properties run by Taj Group of Hotels owned by Tata and it is very convenient for transit passengers. As it is centrally located, it is easily accessible to the all cab and auto rickshaw services. As you walk in, the first thing that you see is this huge banyan tree which symbolizes Indian tradition and heritage. As I walked in, I was completely impressed with this extravagant and plush lobby with a huge number of chandeliers. As it was a weekday, there wasn't much of crowd and I was checked in within 5 minutes. The tariff was roughly about 15,000 plus taxes for the room that I had opted for. I was allotted a room on the third floor and it wasn't a long walk to my room. You can also check out my another blog where I had spoken about my stay at Taj Lanzin. Living up to its name and status, the room was spacious, crisp and contemporary. The mirror claddings on the wall were just stunning. I was quite excited about my stay here as it has been pending for quite some time now. The restroom was also quite spacious with all the basic amenities. The one thing that had caught my attention was this television along with its own remote control that was mounted right in front of the bathtub. The bath area that had a standard shower had just enough space. I was given a room which had two individual queen size beds. The combination of gold, white and brown really stood out. There were a lot of cabinets giving us lots of storage. Speaking about Taj group of hotels, they own some of the plush properties not only in India but across the globe as well. Brand Tata who owns Taj group of hotels also own Air India. I was little disappointed having noticed not much of snacks being kept. The study area was right at the corner which helps you work uninterrupted. Instead of a fixed chair, a rotating chair in the study area would have been appreciated. This is where the centralized electric console was and you can see the blinds moving up. Wanting to know about the view from my room, I curiously started walking towards the window. Overlooking the airport and watching the aircrafts taking off and land, it was a great view to be with. The lobby had a huge aquarium and couple of retail outlets. Being inside a 5 star property, the prices here at the retail outlets are quite inflated and it is not for someone who is looking forward to shop. Nevertheless, window shoppers are always welcomed and treated with great respect. As I entered a pan-Asian cuisine, the menu was quite appetizing and mouth-watering. Not only the cuisine, even the interiors were quite Asian with a huge chandelier which was colorful and was resembling a dragon. There were also a lot of individual chambers for private dining which comes at a premium. With a kind of food, aura and ambience, one can really expect to have a memorable time. There was also a lounge within the restaurant to unwind after a sumptuous meal. Back to the lobby area, through the elevator, I reached the first floor looking forward to explore more. After having read the amenities and going through various information placards, I entered the banquet. 
Let me know in the comment section if you would like to stay in this property. I do check out and comment on my other videos as well which would really motivate me to post more content like this. It was huge with the tree of life right in front of you, information of which was placarded outside. Walking further down, I thought of giving you a glimpse of the wrist area as well. The pool, the salon and the fitness center were quite a walk from the place where I was. The property also had a lot of small banquets for private conventions. My stay at this property was for about 2 days and I thoroughly enjoyed my stay. What you see is the salon and the spa for which prior booking is required. And they both offer discounts for in-house guests anywhere between 20 to 25%. Walking towards the fitness center along the alley, I was quite surprised to see the photographs of some ancient wrestlers along with some yoga asanas unlike any other hotel. The fitness center was huge, well equipped and overlooking the pool. The strength training, the cardio and the yoga asana areas were all within and were not separated though. They also had two temperature controlled pools, one for kids and another for adults. And due privacy, I was not able to shoot the pool. Leave your thoughts about this property in the comment section and like, share, subscribe to our channel and follow me on Instagram as well. I'll see you all in the next vlog. Till then, stay blessed. Bye-bye.